Aries, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, I hope you're all doing well. This reading is for anybody with an Aries placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to pull three pick a card messages. The one you choose is your message from your person, which I will announce near the end of this reading because I'm also going to use the tarot dice to get the overall messages. And then we'll see at the end of the reading here what they would like to say to you. So go ahead and pick your message now. And then when I'm ready to close out the reading, you will get the message from your person. Four came up. So there's definitely some significant messages here because I've been only asking spirit for three. So they're definitely something that want to come out for you. Okay, let's see what's happening. Don't forget to hit the like button, support your fellow Aries. Not only does it help support them, but it also is a fantastic and free way to support the channel. Okay, I really appreciate it. I love reading for all of you. Let's get the messages. If you want a personal reading, hit me up at shacy.com. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with or could be dealing with in the future. Okay, that's how Tarot works. Ooh, okay. So I feel like in a family situation, remember if this isn't you, it's your person. Okay, always feel free to swap those energies. This is somebody who could be going through a lot of arguments in a family situation, taking action, possibly even legal action. Could be in a marriage or commitment. Yeah, somebody has a lot of decisions and choices to make. Um, now, I feel like somebody is definitely healing from a toxic family situation here. There has been a lot of tied up financially within this family dynamic, and I feel like somebody's overwhelmed with a lot of decisions to make. And I feel like um, their family is having a hard time getting through all this. They could be very argumentative right now as to what those decisions mean, uh, whether there's children or properties or uh, retirement funds, uh, vacation home, whatever the case may be. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, there's a lot tied up here. With justice in between the two, that definitely tells me there is fairness and balance issues here that we're trying to make decisions and so it's like this family is like it's it's like there's a lot of arguing within it is what i'm getting uh you're dealing with somebody here that could be quite well off okay i feel like they definitely have a lot to offer financially i feel like they're right now preoccupied with getting those ducks in a row Okay, I feel like you have no idea what's going on. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. They want to sweep you off your feet, literally. I feel like uh, it's all in divine timing. Wow, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and we have the world energy. So this definitely signifies to me that they see you as loving, as very beautiful, as very nurturing, very caring. They also see you as highly intuitive. This is going to be a turning point, but you have no idea this is happening. They're actually um, taking the action here within a family situation to go through these decisions. And I feel like you just, you're blocked right now. Like you have no idea. But with the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit's letting you know that there is divine changes happening here in divine timing. This is all faded. This is all destined to happen. Okay, so I do feel like you could be kind of trying to figure out what's going on and you're really right now you're really not sure what direction to go but spirit's letting you know that divine timing is definitely at play here and everything's going exactly the way it's meant to all right let's go ahead and use the double decker vintage deck so for those of you that are brand new this is the 1960s and the 1970s deck don't forget to hit the notification bell otherwise you may not be notified well you won't be notified of other future readings if you want to be Okay, and subscribing is free. Can't remember if I said that. I don't think so. But hitting the like button, I know I did say that. <laughs> so thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's happening here. So again, this is for anybody with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so yeah. So I feel like if somebody was throwing themselves all into their work, ignoring this decision, I feel they're not doing that anymore. Um, we have the five to the six of wands, which indicates to me that they're putting the work in now to overcome any challenges. They're not just throwing themselves into the work physically here, okay? I feel like we're ready to overcome whatever has kind of left us wondering what to do. Yeah. 
I feel like you're dealing with somebody who really wasn't trusting their intuition. Okay. They're done keeping secrets here. Okay. This person loves you with the King of Cups. They really love you and they want to spend time with you here. If that was in the dark, it's coming out. Yeah. Okay. So we have the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. You know, fours are about your foundation. This is I'm I'm not dealing with this this marriage or this family or this anymore. This is somebody that is now refusing to kind of have new love just yet because they're otherwise again preoccupied with a lot of decisions and choices they have to make. But it's also that this person can't accept new love just yet. They want to because they're focusing on the things in their family right now that they have to in order to get through these decisions in order to go towards you um, I'm definitely getting the the gist that they're dealing with a lot of family members here is mostly what I'm getting that are refusing to accept this change okay I feel like your person is trying to fight off different family members here when it comes to legal decisions um, they're doing their research okay and this can also represent that you know if there's some way they can keep an eye on you they are or maybe you're keeping an eye on them it could be both of you um, but just know that everything's happening exactly the way that it's meant to okay so this is a period of healing this is a period of you know I'm still hoping I'm still hopeful I'm wishing but this is also, I'm destined to be with a soulmate. And I must come to you true and authentic here. The star energy is major arcana. Major arcana means major life-changing events. And we've got the devil energy here. We have the star energy and the wheel of fortune and justice. So spirit is saying fairness and balance is coming. And divine timings at play here. There is a turning point. It's going to require, you know, um, healing. And uh, this will bring you towards your destiny. Okay. Yeah. It's very painful, I feel, for your person again or vice versa. Depends who's watching. To walk away from a situation that they've been in for a long time. This has been a painful, toxic cycle that they have been in for a long time. Emotionally, they're not happy. Okay. They're wanting to walk away from people, places, and things that don't make them happy. Okay. And so whatever chapter they're closing out in their life is not going to be a walk in the park. Okay. That's not to say that you have it any e easier because they kind of left you kind of wondering, I don't know whether to go left or right. But I do feel like even though they feel like this has been a bit of a risk with you, I feel like they're looking at you as a chance to start over in life, to have a solid beginning, to be happy is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, because we've got, again, the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there you go. There's the Chariot. Some of you may be at a physical distance, but this also means, you know, I'm going towards my rightful path. It may require travel. I may have to relocate. So I feel like your person is really preoccupied with making those... Uh, definite decisions for the future. Let's see what's going on ultimately in their energy. For Aries person of interest, what does Aries need to know about Aries person of interest? What is going on in their energy that Aries needs to be made aware of? Any blockages, anything hidden? What does Aries need to know? They're wanting to fly out. I can feel them literally like flying in my hands here. What's going on? Ah, oh, they're thinking about you very sweetly. They're having memories of you and them. You could be from their childhood. This is also soulmate energy. You're my soulmate. You know, I want to spend time with you. You're on their mind, most definitely. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. They want a balanced connection with you. They see a balanced connection with you. This is great. So in their energy with their family, okay, they're having a lot of issues. But with you, they see more of a fair and balanced relationship, okay? Right now, they're in fight-flight mode, I feel, with family. They're, they want things to be fair within their family, but at the same time, it's been difficult. Okay, Knight of Swords. Wow, the Knight of Swords is really making its rounds with the fire energies. So this is uh, somebody anxious. You know, I want to make things fair and balanced with you because I feel like they left you in the dark. For some of you, they may feel like, you know, you feel let down. You feel betrayed by this person. You're, you might be getting angry. You feel like um, they left you in the dark. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Or they're anxiously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. So I feel like you may have shut the door or you feel like they betrayed you or let you down somehow. 
but I feel like they want to apologize for that and they want to tell you they had a lot of confusion with all of these decisions and choices they have to make with closing a chapter in their life or going through a painful experience with family members here. There's definitely something closing out here and it may be causing some legal issues here. Yeah, okay, so they are going to tell you, I feel, that they want to work on your connection but they're also going to tell you, yeah, they had to put in a lot of work into their business or whatever they're working on financially as well, making these decisions in order to come towards you and have their wish. But to you, they, you, may, you may feel like they appeared a bit on the selfish side, but it's because they have so many people in their energy from their family interfering here is what I'm getting. Yeah, their wish is to take this leap of faith with you. Yeah. They definitely want to. They want to put the work in. They just, they're going to reach out. They're going to message you at some point here and say, I'm sorry. I had all of these decisions and choices to make. They were very painful. Some could be legal. You know, some could be like family. Uh, yeah, they want to travel towards you. For some of you, they may just show up and surprise you here with the Eight of Wands and the Fool energy here. Okay, so it's definitely some of you because we have the chariot as well. So they could be traveling to you now or in the future, or maybe they want to travel with you. But either way, they, they want to come in and explain is what I'm getting here. Um, they're going to come in quite impulsively because this has been difficult. Yeah, see? The king of swords, the three of cups, and the three of swords. Okay, so this is about cutting out people places and things that no longer work okay we're, we're having to cut out another person place or thing and we're silent right now because we're making head over heart difficult decisions okay the seven of cups and this has been really painful this has been painful but expect some kind of communication i feel like even if it's a risk or they feel it's a risk. I feel like they really want to come towards you and explain things because again, they think of you in this very sweet light and they do want a balanced connection with you. Okay. And they could be starting to panic as well because for some of you, I'm getting here that maybe you feel like they let you down. Let's get the mutual energies between you and them. What are the mutual energies between Aries and the person they're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future? What does Aries need to know? How are they mirroring one another? When it comes to their hopes, dreams, wishes, fears, any blockages for Aries and whoever is on Aries' mind now are coming toward them in the future. How are they mirroring one another when it comes to their connection? What do we need to know? Wow. So for some of you here, you know, they want to come back together with you. They want to spend time with you here. They want to apologize. They're kind of, you know they're going to let you know they want to put the work in and the reason why they haven't been able to yeah because they're heartbroken you've been heartbroken here and we've definitely got it right here so there's been a lot of heartbreak here mm -hmm. can i get one more please for aries and their person okay there you go so this was a toxic situation because there's a lot of people in their energy i feel where you know they may have had to have been giving to everybody so there was kind of nothing left uh, maybe um, fa certain family members were argumentative over, again, money or time. I'm definitely getting that there was an imbalance here. And um, I feel like if your person was in a toxic situation, it's also going to take time for them to heal as well with the star energy here. They're going to need time, healing time. So right now, I feel like when they come towards you, they're coming at a page level, but their intention is to have something more solid here, but they want to start off in kind of like this fun loving, apologetic way, okay? Um, because they are and have been heartbroken as well and gone through this painful cycle with their family, okay? And I feel like for some of you, they may have even had to have uh, chosen to, to have to even cut some family members out. Um, but this can also represent, for some of you, it, it, they're going through a divorce with justice here in the King of Swords, okay? And it's been kind of bittersweet is what I'm getting. It has not been an easy ride. Bottom of the deck, yeah. 
double confirmation. Like we're having to juggle a lot of things around in our lives to get our ducks in a row. And it hasn't been easy. And I feel like your person's had to make some head over heart decisions, even though they didn't want to. It was heartbreaking. I feel like some of the family members just are really angry at them and, and they're causing a lot of chaos. So just keep that in mind for some of you here. What is the advice and guidance messages, please, for Aries? Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay? So I feel like, you know, you feel this soul-to-soul -soul energy here, this soulmate energy, because again, Six of Cups, the star energy here. And I feel like together, you're going to feel more at home because we have the Six of Pentacles, because we have the Six of Cups. So it's like there's a, there's a nice balance, or there will be in the future here between you and them passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it Ooh! so you're coming up as very passionate very driven you're seductive right now like you're looked at as um very passion driven very nice energy yeah like a go-getter yeah secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on okay so they have been kind of i feel holding back staying silent okay because again they're making these tough decisions okay and it's been heartbreaking but i definitely am getting the feeling they want to put the energy into your connection they want to communicate they want to reach out they want to spend time with you and i feel like they're trying to get things done as fast as they can um, but it, it has been um, chaotic for them that's what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's get you a couple of tarot charms. Let me know how this resonates in the comment section. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so Spirit's telling you that, you know, you are blessed. You have a lot of things in your life to be thankful for, okay? This can also represent that there are blessings to come. You're going to have a nice balance here in the future. Yeah, there's a dragon here. So definitely, it's like your person right now is on fire. They're, they're feeling the need to kind of breathe fire right now. Again, it's interesting because we have, we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So that's hot, cold, hot, cold. So they may have been hot and cold with you or not talking to you at all with the King of Swords here because right now uh, they're in fight and flight mode with family members. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, yeah, they're in this dragon mode. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer or somebody may have strong cancer in their chart. Okay. This is somebody who's very imaginative. We also have Pisces energy here, but that aside, this is the, the goldfish. This is about good luck. It's also about going with the flow, realizing that again, with the wheel of fortune here, the chariot, everything's happening in divine timing. Okay. We have to, you know, walk away from people, places and things that we feel are toxic and it's going to uh, take some tough decisions and it's going to take some head over heart decisions. And that's definitely what your person's going through. But when they think of you, they think of flowers. So maybe some of you really, really love flowers or you have a garden. Um, but this is also they see growth with you. They see happiness with you and they feel like when they're in your energy, they feel very blessed. And again, that lovely balance here. Okay, so you're waiting for a yes and no answer is what Spirit's saying. So you feel like you just don't know which direction to go right now until you have a black and white vision of kind of what, what to expect here. All right, so in closing, let's go ahead and flip. So one, two, three, four are the messages from the person you're dealing with. Take your pick. Let's start out with the first one. I'm sorry I triggered you. There you go. So for some of you, your person is very sorry that they opened up a can of worms and triggered you. Okay. Next message. I'm afraid to trust. So this person could have trust issues with their heart. Okay. Next message. I regret how I handled things before. Okay. So that could be another reason why they're kind of hot and cold because they regret how they handled things before. They know they want to balance things out now. Okay. For some of you, again, trust issues. You know, I've been overwhelmed. I, I'm just not sure what to trust right now. And I'm really sorry if you feel like I let you down. I just wasn't sure what or who to trust. Because again, there's this devil energy around them. So maybe they're used to being around people that they can't trust. Okay. And they don't know who to take seriously or, or who to, who's real and who's not. Right. Next message. I am overthinking everything. So yeah, this is definitely can be an overthinker. The seven of cups can definitely represent, you know, oh God, what if I make the wrong decision? I have all of this toxicity around me, family members or friends or whoever these people are. 
and I'm afraid of making wrong decisions. You know, like what if I'm trusting the wrong person? It happens, right? That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm going to let you go now. I hope this resonates. Sending you much love, much light. Again, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Leave me comments. Let me know if it resonates. Personal readings at shazy.com. All the information you could ever want is down below in the description area. I send you many blessings, love, and light. I will see you all again in approximately a week. Namaste. Bye for now.